In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for Na3P. This is sodium phosphide. So let's write the element symbols here. For Na, we have three of those. So we'll just put them on top of each other here. And then we'll put the phosphorus right here. So because sodium is a metal, phosphorus is a nonmetal, we're going to have an ionic compound. With an ionic compound, the electrons, the valence electrons, will be transferred from the metal to the nonmetal. So sodium on the periodic table, that has one valence electron. So each sodium here has one valence electron. Phosphorus is in group 15, sometimes called 5A. It has five valence electrons. So because phosphorus has five valence electrons, if it could get three more valence electrons, it would have an octet and be very stable. So the metal, the sodium, transfers an electron. Then this sodium transfers an electron. And this one transfers an electron. And now this phosphorus, it has an octet. Since each sodium lost an electron, electrons are negative, it now has a positive charge. The phosphorus, it gained three electrons, so now it has a three minus ionic charge. We'll take and put brackets around the phosphorus to show that the electrons, they were lost from the sodium. They're not being shared like in a covalent bond. Let's put our brackets, and then we'll have that three minus on the outside. For the sodium, sometimes you'll see brackets, sometimes you won't. Either way is okay. So this is the Lewis structure for Na3P, sodium phosphide. Note that this Lewis structure here is called a formula unit. Sodium phosphide is a crystal. It's made up of a repeating pattern of these formula units. But still, this is useful to see how the electrons have been transferred from the sodium atoms to the phosphorus atoms in the Na3P Lewis structure. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.